Greetings friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. Marketing Master Jim Ackerman here with BizKaboom's next installment of Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads, where you get to determine whether an ad specimen is good, bad, or ugly from a effectiveness point of view, and then I get to tell you whether you're right or wrong. And guess what? It's the silly season. Yeah, that's what they refer to it in the world of journalism is the silly season. It's election time, right? And so your mailbox is being bombarded with election propaganda and paraphernalia. And I've got one such example right here. Take a look. This is the address side because that's where the address lands. And this is for Lincoln Fillmore. You know how I know that? Because it's up here in the upper right-hand corner. Yeah, right-hand corner. I get so confused. Okay, because I'm behind it, right? In the upper right-hand corner to you as you look at the thing. Now, uh, what about the rest of this? Well, you're going to have to determine whether you think it's good, bad, or ugly, but not until you see the other side, okay? Take a look at that side. More of the little badgy here that talks about who it is, and that's important. But would you read it, and would you be influenced? So... You can stop the video if you like. Take as much time as you like to examine both sides of this postcard. And when you think you've determined whether it's good, bad, or ugly, please let me know by starting the video again so I can tell you whether you're right or not. Okay, classic political advertising here, folks. Uh, this is for a uh, Utah State Senate race. So it's for a very small area in the state of Utah. And uh, this is typical of what you're going to see across the country from county politicians and state politicians. Not all that typical of what you might see from those running for national office where they have to take in a large uh, portion of the state or the whole state in general. So this is pretty amateurly done. Uh, you can argue what you want about the content, but it's got some serious problems. First of all, there's not a headline on it to be found on either side, unfortunately. Uh, secondly, they put all the copy on the address side over top of a picture. What does that do to you? It makes you not read it because it's too hard to read. It's just simply too hard to read the type on top of a picture. And so you won't do it. Our job in advertising is to make people's lives easier, not harder. And the mistakes are carried forward on the back where, again, all the copy is put on top of a photograph. This time they used white type, at least over here they used black. This time they use white type and where they had to put it really over the picture, they put it in a black outline. More stuff that's hard to read. Folks, if it's hard to read, people won't read it. Our job is to grease the shoot from the top of the ad to the bottom of the ad and make it as smooth and easy of a slide for people as we possibly can. Any bump in the road could throw them off course and make them decide to round file your very important direct marketing piece. So the masters take, sadly, ugly. But regardless of what you thought about this particular piece, stay tuned because there's more to come in the next edition of Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads, where we help you get more customers who will pay you more money more often, the fastest, easiest, most cost-effective ways possible.